We have another sign that the holidays are here. This year's River of Lights event is underway. The first folks walked in about an hour ago. Millions of twinkling lights are now illuminating the Albuquerque Biopark. It's the 25th annual event this year. USA Today ranks it as one of the top 10 light displays in the country. Thank you for joining us here at 6 o'clock. For many, a tragedy last year at River of Lights is casting a shadow on this year's event. Many will be remembering the seven-year-old boy hit and killed in a hit and run while crossing the street with his family. As a result, there are many changes to how people will be arriving and leaving this year. Tamara Lopez is live outside the event. Tamara, how's everything going so far? Tommy, so far so good, and like you mentioned, a lot has changed this year. So while the light display that we all know and love is going to be the same, pretty much everything else has changed. Starting with where I'm standing right now, we are at the bike path on Tingley Beach, and if you look over my shoulder here, you can see that path that goes underneath Central lit up. I know it's hard to see, but you can see it lit up, and there's the cones out there. That is because they are having people walk underneath Central this year. That is one of the biggest changes. This is the key people from not crossing the crosswalk on Central. Now, earlier today, we saw a lot of setup from city workers to make to make sure people don't cross Central. And earlier, they were setting up the barricades, blocking it off in the crosswalk area, setting up signs. And again, it's all to try and make River of Lights a lot safer this year. The city has also upgraded its free park and ride system this year. You can park at the zoo and get shuttled to River of Lights. You can also take the city buses for free as well to come out and see all those light displays. There is going to be more police presence as well as more security presence as well. Now, here is another big change that people need to be aware of. If you are coming out, you have to buy your tickets online. And when you do so, you're going to be picking your arrival time to come to River of Lights. Now, we talked to people about all these changes, and here's what they had to say. I think that the great idea, we were talking about that because there was such a long line, we decided to park over here. And my daughter, she just knows where all these places are. And I said, well, we have to be careful. So again, all these changes are said to be making River of Lights even safer this year for people. And again, if you park at Tingley, you're going to be having to walk underneath this tunnel. And I do want to say there is two security guards out here and tons of light. And we have not really seen a lot of foot traffic out here so far. But just keep that in mind, Tommy. Again, this is all to be making River of Lights even safer to try and avoid another tragedy. Yeah, we all want to be able to avoid this event and be safe this year for sure. Thank you, Tamara.